Hi everyone. So right now our next video is about simulation. So for this video, we are very limited to a current output testing because that is what you normally see on site. You send the signal from the flow transmitter to the SCADA, to the PLC, to the DCS via a 4 to 20 milliampere signal. So basically, I know you guys have a background 4 to 20 milliamps and then you set your flow rate. That's the most important thing. Your flow rate in the in the system should be the same as the flow rate and unit in the DCS. So the communication is basically done or your terminals are connected on this side of the flow transmitter. All right, so you can see here, these are the terminals and this is where the power supply is. So it's separated and let's see. So right now, when you open that compartment, you can see that the cover has the wiring diagram for the communication. So for example, you have your A, A terminals, B terminals, C terminals, and D terminals here. You have your electronics serial uh, codification here, the serial number of the flow transmitter. You can see here the notes, active, passive, not connected. So these are the things you can see here. Basically, active is when the flow transmitter or the terminal has already the power supply. And passive is basically if your SCADA system has the power supply. You can easily test this by putting your multimeter on, for example, A and A+. It's active, so you will see there a 24 volts power supply. A and A- minus would will not have anything. Alright, so here... You can see here the the usage of the terminals. For example, A is for current output heart. And you can see here the note. Active is for terminals A and A+, plus, meaning the flow transmitter will give the power supply. Passive is for A and A-. Minus. And the maximum supply from the control system should be 32 volts DC. You can also use terminal B for status output and C for status output. For example, you can select here that if there's an error with the flow transmitter, it will send a closed contact or open contact depending on how you configure it to the control system. Pulse output or status output for D, you can configure it as a closed or open contact. Or a pulse output, for example, you want to monitor the totalizer you can use this one or you can set it as for frequency. So I connected my Fluke to A and A+, right now, just to simulate or just to show you how to simulate the current output signal from the flow transmitter. One of the basic tests that you have to do on site. So let's start. All right, so we're gonna power on our multimeter, okay. Make sure that's in DC. And you can see here, it's zero. That's why it's reading, it's or it's giving you 4.01. Let's start simulating. First, you enter the menu, release. Easiest way, go to the test. If you go to the test, you can see already here the simulation. You just enter. You can simulate by giving the actual flow rate that you want. This is a very nice test when you're testing the readout of the DCS or the SCADA. You can select velocity of sound or for us, we're using terminals A. We are using current output A. So let's start. So once you saw this one or once you see this one, you just have to enter. And you can see here, set the value. And then you press number two. Okay, so now you can edit it. So to play with the navigation, you just have to press the first key to move around. And for example, you want to give a 10. You just change it using the up and down key. Okay, so change it to 1. Or let's do 11. 11. Alright, or let's do 12, 
Alright? And then once you're satisfied with the number that you are about to simulate, you just press number 2 again. It will ask you start simulation. You just press up or down key and select yes. And then press enter key. You can see here it says it's sending 12 milliampere. And you can see in the fluke multimeter you have 12. Quite easy, right? Now let's change the value to, to 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So you just have to go back. Press number 2, number 1, sorry, and then set the value, change it to 4, 4, start simulation, yes, you can see there 4. Normally in Aramco, as per my experience, you have to test from upscale and downscale, so you have to do 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and then 20, 16, 12, 8, and then 4. Alright, then once you're happy with the value, you've recorded it, press 2, press 1, or the right key, and then press the enter key again, navigate, change it to 8, enter, select yes, alright, then once you're done, just press number the enter key, right key, and then enter key. Let's do 20 now. For example, you've skipped already and you're done, for example, uh, 12 and 16. Just select 20. Enter. Start simulation. 20. Once you're done, just press number 2. Where which is enter key, enter key, enter key, enter key. Once you're exiting, it it will always ask you to save configuration. So for example, here we didn't really do something to 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 change the menu. We just select no because we just simulated. We didn't change any any parameters, and then it will go back to page one. And that's it for our simulation. Um, for, for the passive test, you just have to connect this one to the control system. That's the easiest way. And then do the test. All right. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.